Hello world, my name is Sam and I will be showing you how to create a BMP or bitmap file from scratch. This image will be a 24-bit true color image expressed and created with hexadecimal values. Additionally, this file will consist of the typical 14-byte file header followed by a 28-byte bitmap info header. Starting off, we're going to go into our preferred text editor, mine being Notepad++. And then from Notepad++, we're going to go into the hex editor plugin. The hex editor plugin can be installed from the plugin menu in the plugin manager. From here, well, things are going to get a little more interesting. We're going to construct our bitmap image. The first two values of any bitmap image are 42 and 4D, which stand for BM and hex. This indicates to our machine that this is indeed a BMP file. The preceding four bytes are going to be the size of the BMP header. Uh, for this demonstration, I'm going to create a 3x3 image, which will take up a total of 74 bytes in decimal, or up, go up to 5a in hex. The next two bytes are really unimportant for what we're doing. Uh, these are reserve values that are dependent on the application that's going to be using this file. Uh, we can just put 00, zero as well as byte 8 and 9 are the same thing, where they're reserve values for the specific application. Uh, depending on who uses them. So you can just go for four bytes in a row, zero, zero. At the address zero A, we have the four byte starting address. This is the location of where values for image will actually begin. This is helpful because depending on the type of file, there will often be additional headers after this file header. The starting address will be at 36, and the other three bytes can just be zero. And that completes our 14 byte file header. We can now move on to the next 28 byte bitmap info header, which the first four bytes are the header size. This is going to be 28 bytes. The next three bytes can just be zero, which carries on to the next line. Followed by that, we can have the width of the file, which we're using a WinP 3 pixel by 3 pixel. We plug in a 3, and the next three bytes can be zero as well, that indicating the file width. Next is going to be the file height, which is going to be 3 as well, of a 3 by 3 pixel file. The, the next 3 bytes can be zeros, thus making another pretty much the same as before, 3 followed by 5 zeros. At the address 1a, we're going to start to see a lot of defaulted values in the info header that aren't very important to us. Starting off, there's going to be at our color planes, which are 2 bytes, and default to a value of 1 and followed by 0, 0. Next, it's going to be a 2 bytes, your bits, your, which represents your bits per pixel, which these are going to default to 0, 0 as well, followed by your compression method, which is 4 bytes, which is also going to default to 0, 0. All 4 bytes going on to the next line. Up next, we have our image size, which is our raw bitmap data. This is going to turn into 24 for the first byte, followed by 4 zeros. Uh, this is, for those of you doing your math, 3 times 3, how does that equal 24? Well, we're going to get to that, but it turns out that the width is actually has to be a multiple of 4. The next 4 bytes represent our horizontal resolution. This isn't very important for us, but what we're doing for our demonstration, these are going to default to 0. The next 4 bytes following that are going to be a vertical resolution. These are also going to be defaulted to 0. Following that, we're going to have the colors in our palette. This is the four bytes. These are also default to zero. There's a lot of zeros happening here. After that, we're going to have our, what we call our important colors. Uh, we're not going to specify any value here, and it's going to default to zero once again. So four bytes, zero. And this brings us to our location 36. So we specified in one and zero A as our starting address. And this is where our actual color values are going to begin. Now that we've completed the file header, as well as the bitmap info header, we now only have the color, actual color values to assign. Each pixel has a blue, green, and red value in that order in which you can assign actual color values. You can actually see this in work if you bring up something such as paint and try to edit the colors. Whenever you try to switch the colors around, you'll see red, green, and blue values switching around. For my demonstration, I'll make dichotomous values of 0, 0, or 255, which is FF and hex, you can adjust your colors accordingly for your own image. 
keep in mind that the order is green, blue, and red, I'm going to create my first pixel, which is the bottom left pixel of any Im of your image. I'm going to make the values FF, FF, 00. zero. So my green is going to be 255, my blue is going to be 255, my red is going to be 0 for that pixel. This will create a cyan image. Next up, I'm just going to go through and create some some various colors. I'm going to do, do red now, which is zero green, zero blue, and all red. And that's the second pixel of the of our bottom of our image. For a third pixel, I'm going to make it green. It's going to be zero blue, full green, and zero red. It's going to be an entirely green image. After this, we're going to have what we call padding. This being a 3x3 three three image, the width has to be multiple of 4 for a bitmap image. So for that, we have to have we have to have three more bytes or one more pixel of padding, which won't actually be seen in the photo. Uh, for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to assign those values to 99. These 99s don't actually affect anything. It will not be seen. It will be known as padding. Now that we've finished our first row, as a recap, we did our first pixel of cyan, three bytes, our second pixel of red, and our third pixel of green followed by padding, that doesn't matter. Um, it needs to be here, but the values do not matter, so it'll not show up. And now we can just move on to our, our next row, second from the bottom, and I'm gonna assign this to red. Zero blue, zero green, and some red. Then the next byte, I'm gonna have gray value. Uh, if you set all the values equal to each other, it will create a, a grayscale image. Following our grayscale, we're going to have a red pixel, 0, 0, 0, 0, FF for full red. And after this, we've reached the end of our second row, and we need some padding. We're going to add some more 99s. So we have our entire, entire pixel of padding, so 99s are going to affect anything. Moving on, we're now at the top right corner of our 3x3, three three, our third row. Top left corner is going to be a green pixel. It's going to be full green, FF, followed by 00, zero for blue and 00, zero for red. After that, we're going to have a red pixel in the top center, the 00, zero, 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 zero and FF, and followed by another cyan tile, FF, FF, and 00. zero. And then once again, we need one more thing of padding as we reach the end of our, three, of our row of three, and it's a 99, 99, 99. And now, after lots of editing and realizing my mistake where the bits per pixel should be 18, which stands for 24 bits per pixel in decimal, we've now come to the end of our file. And now all I have to do is save it. Let's save this as 3 by 3 and then make sure it's a BMP file. And then we can see what it looks like. Let's bring up something like paint. Open. 3x3. And go, Sam, where is our file? Well, it's only 3x3 three three pixels, so we zoom in a lot, it comes out to this little thing. So this is your BMP file. Uh, we have finished. If you want, as long as you change any values after 36, you can modify whatever colors you want and make your own image. Or if you to change the length and width, as well as the total file size, you can create any size image you want of any values. Just think of the possibilities.